RCC performs a column design check to the Australian Concrete Code for rectangular, circular or complex reinforced concrete column sections. RCC has streamlined the entire calculation procedure, performing all checks with the click of a button in one window. RCC performs a much faster, transparent and concise design check when compared to the old RC column. The inputs are similar to the old RC column but have been grouped into a more logical manner. Shear, core confinement and fire inputs have all been moved to the main window and all results and reports including the moment and axial load interaction diagram are displayed on the one window. As the section size and longitudinal reinforcement are input, concrete and steel areas are automatically calculated as per the old RC column. However, unlike RC column, RCC will, by default, calculate the number of closed tie legs required to restrain the longitudinal reinforcement to the detailing requirements of Section 10 AS3600. The user can choose to restrain all bars or input their own values. The loading for ultimate and fire is input as per RC column, with the fire checks being performed only if fire loading is applied. RCC uses find an element sign convention and the user input moment loads are then displayed graphically for clarity, both for strength and for fire. RCC also shows a few extra moment values for clarity. The moment that is input in the input boxes is referred to as the applied moment. This is then compared to the minimum moment, if it is switched on, and the larger of the two is then used as the design moment. The loads for both fire and ultimate are displayed graphically and can be toggled on and off. Pressing the solve button will check our section for strength and fire, including all three tables, and will determine the required tie spacing. The MN interaction diagram is displayed on the main form and it can be viewed for the orthogonal directions and for the biaxial directions. The loading line for both strength and fire is shown by default. As our column's concrete grade is above 65 MPA, the special confinement zone has been automatically plotted and will be checked. The tensile part of the MN curve can also be viewed. With the calculations complete, we can toggle between the MN interaction diagram and the loading that we viewed previously. And we can also switch the loading lines on and off for the strength and fire load cases. Zooming in, we can see the loading points that have been applied. Magnification due to slenderness is automatically considered. Zooming out, we can see the loading lines are extended to their intersection with the MN curve to get the column's capacity under the ultimate and fire load cases. These results can also be viewed for the other orthogonal directions and for the biaxial directions. The reporting has also been greatly improved, being more detailed and much cleaner. The user can quickly skip to the relevant section of the report using the Go To buttons, and material quantities are also produced. These calculations form the basis of the column design in the RCB column scheduling. Please refer to the column scheduling video for more information. RCC performs a much faster column design check than its predecessor RC column. Inputs are grouped logically and all in one place and all relevant checks are performed with the click of a button. Results and reports are displayed in a clear and concise manner so the user can see exactly what the software is doing. Combined with a quantity of materials, RCC will allow the user to quickly achieve a complete and efficient column design.